Now I would like to bring up several examples of anti-Semitism within the doctrine of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Most of you know that Jehovah's Witnesses are not true Christians. The Watchtower cult is a worldwide movement deceiving millions. So we know that one of their heretical doctrines is actually replacement theology. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that they have replaced the Jewish people. Now, the Jewish people are cut off and they're not God's people anymore. Let me bring up some examples of uh, the most uh, poisonous statements made by Joseph Rutherford, who was the second president of the Watchtower. He wrote the following against Jews in his booklet, Favored People. And see how he uh, called Jewish people worldwide. He said, Jews are a commercial people. Jews are some of the richest, most avaricious men. Jews will have the harder time during the reign of Christ. Jews were very arrogant, self-important, and extremely selfish. That's just the beginning. There is more. In his book called Enemies, on page 281, Joseph Rutherford stated the following, attacking the Jewish people. Among her instruments that she uses are ultra-selfish men called Jews, who look only for personal gain and who therefore readily yield to and join with the hierarchy in, in any unrighteous schemes. So we see that Rutherford was an anti-Semite leader of the Watchtower Society. Another statement, and this is a quote from James Penton's book, Apocalypse Delayed, The Story of Jehovah's Witnesses, page 100. Speaking at Bible Students' Convention in Winnipeg, Manitoba in early 1920s, Rutherford described a Palestinian Jew as a hooked-nosed, stooped shoulder, little individual who stands on the street corner trying to jeep you out of every nickel you have got. Here is another statement of Rutherford in the, in the Watchtower publication known as the Golden Age. Now it's known as Awake in, in, among the Jehovah's Witnesses. So the Golden Age, uh, dated to 19, uh, 1927, February 23rd, page 343. That's what he, uh, that's how he attacked the Jews again. Be it known once and for all that those profiteering, conscienceless, selfish men who call themselves Jews and who controlled the greater portion of the finances of the world and the business of the world will never be rulers in this new earth. God would not risk such selfish men with such an important position. So we see again, it's another attack of Rutherford against the Jewish people. And the last example of anti-Semitic statements in the Watchtower literature, there are more, and this is a prominent one, found in Rutherford's book called Vindication, Volume 2, published in 1932, pages 257 to 58. That's what Rutherford stated. The Jews were evicted from Palestine and their house left unto them desolate because they rejected Christ Jesus, the beloved and anointed King of Jehovah. To this day, the Jews have not repented of this wrongful act committed by their forefathers. In 1917, the Balfour Declaration, sponsored by the heaven governments of Satan's organization, came forth, recognized the Jews, and bestowed upon them great favors. The Jews have received more attention at their hands than they, they really deserve. So we see that Rutherford made that uh, very anti-Semitic and anti-Zionist Zionistic statement. Uh, 
There are some other interesting facts about uh, Rutherford and Hitler. Uh, we have uh, documents according to which we know that Hitler sent, uh, that Rutherford sent a letter to Hitler supporting him and made a, a, a statement of declaration supporting uh, Nazi, um, Nazi ideology. And you can read more about this in uh, James, Dr. James Panton's book. You, you can see it on this slide. It's called Jehovah's Witnesses and the Third Reich. Okay? So this is a very important um, resource for you to learn more about anti-Semitism in Jehovah's Witnesses organization.